Outer Face Trail. Cross a dozen trailhead from December 1st to May 15th. Yes, it is. They close it by Elbow Falls, basically, on the other side. That's uh, in the winter as far as you can go to. Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by here. Today was a time for another ride and another ride on to the Powder Face. So right now I just entered uh, Kananaski's country. I've been on this road multiple times, but uh, it is time to do the Powder Face at least once a year. I had nothing better to do today, just head out, hop on the bike, uh, and uh, there I am, it's uh, 11.50 at this moment, and uh, heading out on a short spin through Kananaskis, and first thing on the left it will be Elbow Falls, then just before we exit onto Powder Face, there's a Forget-Me-Not Pond. I made a couple of videos from those locations as well back in the past. Uh, forget me not, it's uh, not about riding, it's just to chill or go scuba diving, which uh, I do in this lake once in a while. I'm where, way overdue for, for a scuba dive as well. I even haven't been diving this year yet. So it is time. So the last couple of days have been really, really hot out here in uh, Calgary and uh, surroundings. Uh, today we're hitting uh, 27 degrees already and that's not even noon yet, it's just before noon. Yesterday uh, I think we maxed out at 33 degrees. Great weather! So I didn't even get my full riding gear. Well, I have a full riding gear but I wear a mesh jacket because uh, with this temperature I couldn't see myself wearing uh, Gore-Tex uh, the heavy-duty uh, riding jacket I know the other one has a way more protection way safer jacket but this one has everything what you need it's got the pads it's got uh, like maybe not as good as the other ones in the, in the Alpine Stars or Mayruka, but uh, you're staying still protected. There we are. That's the view that we had uh, for a brief moment just a minute ago, and now it's uh, coming up again. There we go. There's a river on the left. And up in front of me, beautiful mountains. Now it's still nice and green. I can see the snow is all gone, which is a bonus as well. I was worried that the snow is gonna last for a long time uh, since we had so much of it. But uh, with the amount of heat we have uh, this year, uh, so this is still beginning of June. Uh, the whole May was pretty much hot. Now it's coming June again, uh, it's gonna be warm. Hopefully some more rain is gonna come our way. It's got extremely hot right away after winter. So it's uh, time to ride, time to have fun. Gorgeous views out here. It's a little bit of breeze, which is great. It was nothing before I got here. I was almost falling asleep on the bike. <laughs> now once you get into the mountains, you're wide awake again. Oh, 
Yeah, there is still some patches of snow on top. Right there, right there, and a little bit at the higher elevations. But honestly, nothing much. Provincial Park and Forget-Me-Not Pond on my left and we are entering Powderface Trail Seriously? Well, the road is in a horrible shape. It's a washboard all the way, so hard to find a good spot where there's no vibrations. I'll be going all over the road, picking up the best spots to ride on. I don't think that piece of the road was touched this year yet. To groom it a little bit, or grade it. up here there's a few nice and up and down on that 
worst part, the only option is to accelerate, otherwise the whole bike is just vibrating. It seems like the windscreen wants to fall off. talking what a views the clarity of the weather is very good as well today Looks like it's a little bit of construction going on or something. Maybe they're putting a guardrails. Some places out here definitely need them. A few more twisties in front of me. Next four, next four kil kilometers. There's another rider, first bike today.
So yeah, I did the powder face. It was a blast. Uh, took me less than 40 minutes to go through it. I still got a little bit of gravel going this way towards highway number one, uh, about 20 kilometers or so. So it's not too far uh, before I get to the main drag. I put the day to a good use to enjoy this beautiful scenery around here. Right at the exit, there's a little pond. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to catch it because it's uh, exactly where the sun is shining but it's really bumpy. I couldn't really even talk much because uh, uh, while I was riding, I had to concentrate where to, where to go to eliminate all the bumps and uh, give her uh, whatever was a washboard, just accelerate and uh, control the bike. It's a very easy trail. If you're starting ride to ride the bike, uh, big adventure bike or any bike, it's a uh, probably one of the first places I would recommend to visit. Uh, I do this at least uh, once a year. I don't have a need to go here more often because uh, I've did it uh, already so many times. But if you are starting or if you have nothing to do in the afternoon or like me today, um, day off for work, uh, I got two days off now before I start heading back on the weekend. So I figure why not hop on a bike and uh, give her a little bit here in Kananaski's country. Get some beautiful fresh air. You can smell the pines actually, because I think they're blooming at this moment, because uh, when I was riding, the scent uh, was pretty strong. So that really hits you, especially when I have my helmet visor lifted. I never close it when it's this hot. As I mentioned earlier, when I started riding, it's like, it was uh, 28 degrees before, so I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure right now it's even warmer. But uh, so I'm dressed super light, just a t-shirt and my mesh jacket, because otherwise I don't think I would be even able to take it. Uh, not much traffic today. Uh, maybe three bikes by now. There's another KTM that just passed by me, uh, just a few, like a minute, just like a minute ago. And uh, I think I've seen one Beamer passing me and one, one bike uh, just at the beginning uh, as he was exiting already the trail. Uh, also close to Forget-Me-Not, there was a few Harley guys that they can only look at it. They cannot enjoy this road. Uh, <laughs> the bikes would probably fall apart. Uh, this is definitely for um, off-road bike or at least adventure bike. Uh, anything else I don't think I would recommend it because it's uh, really really bumpy with a lot of turns and twisties so at this point I probably wrap up this video it won't be a long one uh, pretty much just very basic uh, one camera view because I was standing up mostly so I couldn't really film myself riding I should have moved the camera over to my uh, other frame the one on the side but uh, I didn't I uh, forgot totally about it and I couldn't use my um, back facing camera so most of the view is a front view from the rider's perspective but anyways if you like this video uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you have any questions comment down below if you are new here don't, for don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see more of this content on the, my channel every time I post a video just hit that notification bell beside it this way you get notified every time I release a new video. Uh, there is uh, always something new. I'm trying to post something every week. If that keeps on going that way, we'll see. But for now, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. If I can recall it, there used to be gravel not that long ago. And I see it's somewhat paved. It's crappy paving, but it is paved. But it looks like they'll be putting another coat here because I can see the scraping on top of the asphalt.
the gravel begins here actually again. Okay, I got it. So it was just a little section. I get windy the helmet. Maybe I should close it. There we are, we are approaching the Trans Canada Highway. And we're heading east. 